today we will be talking about east african art we will talk about some different countries in east africa and show a couple of artists from each country and their pieces the countries that we will talk about are tanzania ethiopia uganda south sudan and also eritrea the first country that we will talk about today will be the country of tanzania Tanzania is very well known for their Makonde sculptures. They used to use these masked wooden sculptures as a form of celebration and also in rituals. But nowadays, they use the Makonde sculpture more so as a form of worship. Here are a couple more examples of what a Makonde sculpture looks like. The first artist that we will talk about from Tanzania is a man called Matthew Simbilla. He's mostly well known for his oil paintings. This piece you guys see right here is one of his most famous pieces of art and it's called Nala and the Elephants. The next artist that we will talk about is a man named Mohamed S. Menke. He's from Tanzania and he's very well known for his oil paintings. This painting right here is called Too Many People, which he painted in 2014. This painting symbolizes how diverse the city of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania is, which holds people from all over the world. The next country on our list is going to be Ethiopia. Ethiopia is located west of Somalia. The first artist from Ethiopia that we will talk about is Kirabu Melk who works in the city called Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia. He is very well known for his work with fabrics and cloths. According to the African American and Caribbean arts, Melk's work of art is contemporary in style and often abstract in design, emphasizing color, contrast, and the value in relationships. Another artist from Ethiopia that we will talk about is a man named Afwork Tekel. He is Ethiopia's most recognized artist for his famous stained glass murals. This piece right here is his most famous work called The Total Liberation of Africa. It is 150 square meter glass and according to the Adisa Abba online, this piece symbolizes African nations uniting to tackle poverty and disease. The next country that we will talk about is going to be Madagascar. Madagascar is located east off the coast of Africa. When it comes to Madagascar, there's a variety of different types of arts, whether it's from paintings, sculptures, or art using fabrics and cloths. A lot of their art is influenced from countries in Asia and also in Africa. The next country on our list that we'll be talking about is Uganda, which is just located right under the south of Sudan. The first artist that we'll be talking about from Uganda is David Kubica who is mostly known for his oils, watercolor, acrylic, and pencil paintings. The first painting we'll be talking about is called Togetherness, which shows love and unity and relationship he had with his oldest daughter. The next artist from Uganda is Dennis Muburu. Dennis is known for his really abstract paintings. So this painting by Dennis is an example of one of his abstract paintings. This painting is actually untitled, but for most of his paintings, he got inspired from his car journeys and taxis, such as this art piece right here. The next country we'll be talking about is South Sudan. This country is actually located above Uganda. A lot of the art done in South Sudan 
and most of the murals done on the side of the walls. They use empty walls as canvases. A lot of the stuff drawn and painted comes from situations that they went through sometime in their lifetime. This first mural shows a campaign in Juba, South Sudan to show how corrupt the city is. A lot of the murals have strong messages behind them. This one right here, according to BBC, shows the suffering of children in the Civil War. The next and final country that we'll be talking about is Eritrea, which is located north of Ethiopia. One artist from Eritrea is Michael Adonia, who is actually a visual artist. This right here is an example of one of Michael's pieces. The piece is called Back to Homeland. This painting by Michael symbolizes when Michael was a refugee and had to flee his homeland to Australia. Here are a couple more examples of Michael's paintings.